Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll talk about the latest object detection and image segmentation model, which is YOLO V8. YOLO V8 is released by Ultralytics and this is the new model, latest model in the family of YOLO models. And using this YOLO V8 model, we can perform object detection, image segmentation and image classification. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your YOLO V8 for the first time and then how to run your custom model on custom, how to work on custom data set using YOLO V8 model. So let's begin. So guys, whenever uh, we work on any new thing, I always recommend to work in a separate environment. So that's what I'm doing. I'm creating a separate environment using Python 3.9 and then um, upgrading the pip and then by just writing one line, pip install ultralytics, I am installing all the required modules which are needed for this YOLO V8. Yes, with this one command only, all your requirements will be there and um, PyTorch will be there and all the other modules. Okay, you just need to write this one line, pip install ultralytics. So now your environment is ready, activate your environment and then now let's, uh, before moving to the custom model part, let's just get familiar with the commands uh, which YOLO V8 have so that while working on custom model will not, you know, we will already be familiar with the commands okay so let's see that so for that i am using uh, i'm showing you the commands which yolo v8 have on the pre-trained model first and then we'll work on custom model so let's begin so guys here you can see these are the three important things which you need to know at the initial level okay so modes train, val and predict. So from the name only it is clear that whenever you will use mode equals to train, that means you want to train your model on some data. Okay. And mod val equals to you want to whenever you want to validate your data set, you want to see the performance of your model on the new data set, then you will use the mode equals to val. Okay, it is for validation data set. And then we have mode equals to predict mode equals to predict will uh, work whenever you want to perform the detections on unseen data set. Okay, so the, these are the three modes. Okay, and then we have task. So under task, you can see we have detect, segment and classify. Now guys, as I've told you that with the help of YOLO V8, we can perform object detection, image segmentation and image classification. So these are the three tasks. Detect, you will do, uh, use task equals to detect whenever you want to perform the object detection task. Task equals to segment will be used when you want to perform image segmentation and task equals to classify will be used when you want to use classification model. Okay, so now let's see how to use all these things. Okay, so now you can see this command over here. You can see, okay, one more thing to tell you that with the help of YOLO V8, you can uh, run the commands in two different ways. One is through your command line prompt, your CMD or your terminal. You can run the commands from terminal or command prompt. Other thing is you can run your commands from the Python script. So I will show you both the ways how to run command from command prompt or terminal and how to uh, run your commands from uh, Python script. OK, so this first command is this command. OK, let's just let me open my uh, command prompt and we'll see how it work. Then go to the drive where your code is then we it so i have created a separate environment so now i'm activating that environment oh sorry i'm sec activating that environment now what we can do is just copy this command from here okay so this is a uh, this command uh, we can directly use this command from the terminal and guys uh, remember see we are not 
cloning any github repo because uh, before yolo v8 when whenever we want to work on yolo v7 or yolo v5 or yolo v6 what we does we clone the github repo first and then we execute the commands using different files right so over here you can see that we just did pip install ultralytics and after that we are directly running the commands so now we have copied the command from here and then paste that command here and then execute so yolo pi task task is equal to detect because we want to perform that detection okay we are using the object detection model right now so that's why task is detect mode equals to predict because we want to do the predictions and then you have to give mode model equals to this this is the pre-trained model and it is trained on coco data set we are using that source here you will provide the source on which you want to perform the detection and then you can see it executed the code and the results are saved and run detect in uh, inside this folder here you can see that we are not uh, cloning any github repo you will just get the runs folder and inside that you will have your results now let's see that okay so we have to get inside a yolo v8 underscore env folder okay let me open that folder now so this is my folder yolo v8 underscore env then we have runs folder open it and then we have to go in detect go in detect and then there is a folder with the name of predict to get inside that and let's open the results now you can see our output is there see it's very easy to use it right so now let's see the other task now let's see the segmentation task we have seen how to use the detection task now let's see how to use segmentation so yolo task equals to segment earlier we have used task equals to detect because we want to do detections now we want to perform image segmentation so that's why we have used task is equal to segment mode is predict only because we want to do the predictions and here we are calling the image segmentation model pre-trained image segmentation model which is already trained on coco data set so that's the model name and i want to perform the image segmentation on this image so when you'll execute it your results will be saved in runs run under runs you will get a segment folder and inside that you have a predict to folder where you have your results so let's see that now so detect okay segment inside segment there is a predict to folder and let's open it now you can see our image segmentation result right so guys this is how you use image segmentation model and the last one is and okay one more thing to tell you over here so this command is uh, this is a CLI command. This is how you can work from command prompt or from your terminal. But what if you want to run the same code through the Python script? Then you can do this. From ultralytics, import YOLO model. And in this model variable, we are providing the name of the pre-trained model which you want to use, right? Over here, we are using a pre-trained model like this. And when you want to use it from python script then you will give the name of the yolo model like this and then model dot predict okay so over here we are writing up mode equals to predict like this but when you are using it to the python script then you will write model dot predict and then you will provide the source like this okay so this is how you can perform you can use the commands in two different way from terminal and from python script okay see and guys or oh, even in the case of this python script over here we are not uh, you know cloning any github repo we are just directly writing these three lines and uh, we are running our code we are getting the results okay so now let's see how to perform the classification task we have done two tasks till now detection and segmentation now the third one is classification now let's see that so for classification you will write task equals to classify we want to do the predictions so mode will be predict only and this time over here for model you will give the classification model so guys uh, how will you get to know the difference C this hyphen cls means the classification model and then this 
hyphen seg means the segmentation model and the one which don't have any um, uh, these descriptions that will be your detection model okay and see like this you can perform the classification and your results are stored in this folder so now you are clear about the modes and the task and this data is you can provide the data through your yaml file the way we gave in yolo v5 and uh, yolo v7 and we can provide the path of the folder also or you can give the data set name so this is how you can provide data to yolo v8 and then you can train your data set okay so uh, i hope these things are clear now let's move to the custom data set how to work on custom data set so guys for that uh, let's talk about the data set so the data set which i'm using let me open the data set okay so this is my data set folder furniture okay so this furniture folder have train test and valid folder okay train folder have data like images and labels and images are like this and labels are in the text format see guys the data set format is similar the way we use in yolo v5 or yolo v7 right for every image we have a text file okay and uh, you can annotate your data set using the label img tool and you need a text file for each image okay so i have a data set now let me show you the yaml file so i have three classes chair sofa and table so i've given the names over here this is my data.yaml file this is the file which is responsible to tell the yolo v8 model that the, here this is the path of our data set and we have three classes and these are the name of these three classes okay so this is a file you have to prepare as per your data set now let's train the model so let's go to the custom model and over here i am showing you how to train your model using python script because in my pre-trained code over here i have shown you how to use the uh, command through terminals so now on while working on custom data set i'm showing you how to do it using the python script so we are importing the yolo from ultralytx first then we are calling the model like this guys if you want to use the pre-trained model also and then you you don't want to train your model from from scratch then you can use this but if you want to train your model from scratch then you can use this okay and then mod model dot train remember we have three types of modes train val and detect now we want to uh, train our model so we are using which mode train so that's what i'm using over here model dot train and then inside this data you will give the name of your uh yaml file which have the detail which have the path detail names and the number of classes which your data set custom data set have provide that and then you can provide the number of epochs i just want to train my model for 50 epochs so that's what i'm doing once the training is done scroll down you will get your results like this inside a runs folder there will be a detect folder inside that there will be a train folder and there you will see your results so let's see that so here we have a runs folder inside run detect and then train and you can see see results uh, you are getting similar like yolo v7 and yolo v5 you will get a confusion matrix for your three classes chair table and sofa and if you will see the results over here you can see the results right and inside this weight folder you will have your trained weights so you will use the best weights to when whenever you want to perform the testing predictions you will use the best weight from here so now our trained we have our custom model trained and guys just see like we have written these three lines and the model is ready and after that okay if you want to train your model from cli okay from your terminal so this is the python script which i have shown you what if you want to train from command prompt okay then you can use this command yolo task equals to detect because we want to train a detection model so that's why task equals to detect mode equals to train because we want to train 
and then model if you want to provide the any pre-trained if you don't want to train your model from scratch then you can give the name of any pre-trained model and then provide your data dot yaml file then write how many epochs you want to train and then if you want to give the image size you can provide it like this so this is how you will train your custom model from the beginning using command prompt and this is how you train your custom model from beginning from python script so there are two ways to run the commands okay so once our model is trained now let's validate our model so here i am validating the model and for validation what i'm using is i am using a cli command terminal uh, command which you can run from terminal yolo task equals to detect because this is a detection model mode equals to val because we want to perform the validation and which model you want to validate the model which you just trained right so the model with the name of best.pt which is in weights folder and we have it in trains folder and this is the entire path of that okay and then provide your data.yaml file so once the validation will done you will see the result over here you will get a val folder inside the detect folder you will get a val folder and inside a val folder you will see a confusion matrix on your validation data set okay and you can see the results these results okay so this is how validation works now we have trained our model we have validate our model now test our model so for testing your model i am using uh, uh this cli command task equals to detect mode equals to predict then give the path of the trained model on your custom data set and then you can provide the confidence over here and then give the source uh, folder so this is the folder in which i have a few images on which i want to uh, perform the testing okay so we'll run it and okay i have to execute it i have already done that so my results are here inside the run detect and the predict and these are my predictions so these are the different predictions by my model right guys so this is how you can train your custom model and uh, guys there are different ways uh, there are other ways also to train your model so but i thought let's start with a simple one so in my upcoming classes i will show you how to train your image segmentation model and image classification models as well so i hope this video is helpful and guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching